Hello Scorpio and welcome to my channel Intuitive Envisions 1111. This is going to be a general love and romance horoscope for those of you under the sign of Scorpio uh, for December 2019. However, my readings are meant to be timeless. So if you happen to uh, catch this reading outside of uh, that timeline and it resonates with you, um, then that means it was meant for you to hear. Okay, so all of these, um, this reading that I'm doing um, is not going to uh, resonate with all of you Scorpios out there. So also keep that in mind as well. I do offer uh, personal reading. So if you're interested, that information is below and the link to my website, intuitiveenvisions.com is there as well as my Instagram information. If you'd like to support the channel, that's also there. Also today I am... Uh, just starting to put the links to everything um, below. So if you want to uh, get anything that I have in here, that information is below. That's including the the decks and um, the jellyfish uh, lamp and um, the air uh, diffuser. Everything um, is probably just a few things I don't have listed below. But mostly everything is that you see in this video is there except for like the candles okay and um i think maybe one I, I don't think i have a link to this uh deck yet here are the twin flame mystic moon oracles other than that everything is there so thank you guys uh for liking commenting sharing and subscribing to the channel i really appreciate it um, for those of you new on this journey uh, when i refer to divine masculine or divine feminine i'm referring to energies and not a specific uh, gender so you can be a divine feminine and be a male or vice versa. Just, you know, take it how it resonates. Also, I do use terms like you, he, she, uh, they, that, this person, your person. I'm also referring to energies and not a specific uh, gender. Okay, so with that being said, let's go ahead and get into your reading. So we have Prosperity Begins. This is about, um, this is the Ace of Pentacles. So this is about a brand new um, beginning on the physical realm, could be in the material world. So it could be a career as well or in the workplace where the romance is taking place. But this is about a brand new beginning, a brand new offer or, or something being offered or you creating something new. OK, or someone creating uh, wanting to offer something to you. Then we have a message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. So I'm feeling like this is your person. Um, they're wanting to let you know um, how much they love you and thinking about you. And they're wanting to offer you something on the uh, physical plane. Okay. That's what I'm getting. So it's already a really good positive uh, message. So what's the current situation between you and your person, Scorpio? What's the current uh, like status uh, between you? We have engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So someone is wanting to take this relationship to the next level or even possibly um, an actual uh, an engagement. Okay. Some of you, for a small few, I sense that some of you might even already be engaged, but that's just, I'm just sensing that for a few of you. Okay, this card wants to come out, so let it. Let it. <laughs> okay, so we have divine timing. All right, so this is about change. Things um, also it's about uh, sometimes need to be uh, patient because of um, a change has taken place and it might have to do with timing, making sure everything is uh, in place. This is also like intervention from uh, your spirits, the universe, uh, angels. So something um, right now in the current situation is uh, possibly changing. Um, uh, relationship status is possibly uh, changing as uh, we speak. Okay, or as I speak, or as we with spirits and my guides and angels. All right, so let's see why the engagement in divine timing is here. So we have the Six of Swords, which is about uh, moving forward, leaving troubled times behind. 
Uh, you could be dealing with um, an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Doesn't necessarily mean so, but you also have the number six here, which is about balance. So there's a situation that needing to be balanced. And let's see why engagement, divine timing, and six of swords is here. So we have seven of cups. So this is about options. This is about dreams. This is about visions. So for some of you, um, also you could be dealing with water sign. Um, this could be you, um, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Uh, this is about moving forward with dreams. Okay, things are, that's what I feel the majority of this is. Uh, someone is wanting to move forward with their dreams. And then for some of you, you're wanting to move forward with um, your options. Okay, options to maybe um, it make have your love life go to the next level, a change in whatever status. So someone is wanting to move forward, though, with this energy. So some of you is options and some of you is dreams. All right. So who's coming um, in towards you? Who or what is coming in towards you, Scorpio? During this period. And we have pride and ego. Okay. So this could be somebody that um, has a lot of uh, pride, uh, Ego, maybe not um, as expressive normally with their emotions, someone that's normally uh, serious. But I'm going to get another card just to make sure why it's pride and ego here for who or what is coming in towards uh, Scorpio. All right. And we have the five of Pentacles. So this could be a nerve sign coming in. This is also about a temporary hardship. Um, Someone, uh, you know, left out in the cold or you left them out in the cold. So this person could be somebody that left you out in the cold or you left them out in the cold. I'm going to get one more uh, card here. Why is pride and ego and five of pentacles here for who's coming in for Scorpio? Page of pentacles. So, yeah, I feel that it is um, a nerve sign. Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus is coming in. Um, somebody uh, um, might express their, because um, this is about news as well, making that first step, manifesting, learning. Um, this could be uh, someone that's coming in to deal with their pride and ego in the situation, like, you know, admit to it is what I'm getting. So, yeah, that's what I'm getting for you. All right. So, how is your person currently uh, seeing you, Scorpio? How is your person currently seeing you, Scorpio? Oh my God, almost knocked all these cards out. Free will. So, they're seeing you um, as wanting your free, free will, your freedom, free to do whatever you want to do um, type of energy. I'm going to get another card for that. Why is free will here for how your person sees you? King of Wands. Okay. Yeah. So they're seeing as you free to want to, you know, take action, do what you want to do. Um, go towards your passion. Um, something warm, something honest. Um, that's what I'm getting. Uh, the, you could also be um, dealing with a uh, fire sign as well, or you have fire in your chart, a uh, Leo, Sagittarius, or um, Aries. But this is how you they see you as taking action towards your free will, towards, you know, being free. All right. And then how are you seeing them, Scorpio? How are you seeing your person? You see them as a barrier, um, like a door shut, closed off, maybe because of this pride and ego that they displayed. Let me see why this pride, uh, barrier is here for how you see them. And you have strength. So it could be dealing with a Leo. Um, there is that fire uh, energy here. 
So this is about strength. Um, so you see them as like not being strong, not strength is about courage. Um, you know, being led by, you know, your passion and they see that you're seeing them as having a barrier to this. So you don't see them as in this energy of being strong and doing what they need to do. And then what do they want from you, Scorpio? What does your person want from you? And we have grief. So this could be an apology or them wanting to apologize to you. So let's see why this, what they want from you. Why is grief here for what Scorpio's person wants from them? Okay, so this is, uh, you have the death card here. So this is about um, endings that spark new beginnings, uh, death and rebirth. Um, this could be you because this is your card, Scorpio. So they're wanting you to like end the grief, um, end whatever pain or suffering or maybe their suffering, they're wanting you to end it. Um, this is a transformative uh, energy. So they're wanting to transform this energy with you. Okay. And then what are you wanting from them? What are you wanting from them, Scorpio? You're wanting to heal, okay? So whether that is healing the relationship or just healing and moving forward, um, I'm going to see why is healing here for what Scorpio wants from their person. And you have the Hierophant. So Hierophant um, is Taurus energy. So you could be dealing with Taurus. So we have Taurus and Scorpio strong here. Um, all the other ones is just a could be, but as far as the major arcanas, we have Scorpio and we have Taurus. So, um, this could be representing for some of you that might be married, um, or in a long-term commitment, but this also could be a uh, guiding, like you're being guided to heal. Um, but I do feel like this is, um, mostly for you to heal this, uh, marriage. So I'm going to get one more, um marriage or commitment and so i'm going to get one more because you do have a couple of fives in here which indicate change so why is healing and the higher fit here for what scorpio wants with their person knight of wands okay so the knight of wands is about quick action it's also about leaving and traveling so I'm feeling that this also could be like a back and forth energy. It um, could be someone that stepped out of the commitment. So some of you, I feel, are wanting to leave this marriage. And then some of you are wanting um, to heal um, the situation that took place between you, the back and forth. Or uh, for some of you, like player uh, energy. So some of you, you're wanting to take action um, to heal this marriage and others of you are wanting to leave the situation. That's what I'm getting here. Okay. All right. So let me see. What is the um, action or uh, outcome your person is going to take towards you? Wait for a second. I get these cards. What is the action or outcome your person is going to take towards you, Scorpio? during this period wedding the situation involves a marriage okay so there is the clarification uh thank you spirit that this is, has to do with someone that is married so the situation um, involves marriage so let me see the action they're going to take why is wedding here for the action scorpio person is going to take towards them you have divine masculine so this can be about taking control um so let me get another card why is wedding divine masculine here for a scorpio person what action or outcome they're going to take 
two of wands. Okay, so this is about a decision or needing to make a decision. This also can indicate being at a crossroads. So I'm going to see, I'm going to get a, whoops, I can't see those cards. Let's see. It. All right. I'm going to see um, why this card is here. Let me just move these over a little bit. Why is marriage, divine, masculine, and two of wands here for action and outcome? Six of cups. Okay, so this is about a fond memory. This is about a loving memory. This is about returning. So I'm feeling like your person is wanting to take action towards this marriage or towards this commitment. Or for some of you, it could be because this engagement card um, is to, you know, take this uh, relationship to the next level, um, offer a serious commitment that can lead to um, engagement and marriage. So this person wants to return. And I feel this is about their decision. They're, they're wanting to um, take this relationship um, or take this relationship to a next level. And for some of you, they're wanting to keep this marriage. Okay. And then, so what is the uh, action or outcome you're going to take Scorpio towards your person? Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Okay. So either co codependency could be behavior. It could be actual substance. Um, but let's see what's the action you're going to take. Why is codependency here for the action Scorpio is going to take? Awakening. Okay, so some of you are awakening to the fact that you may be, um, there's some codependency uh, behaviors in here. Like I said, maybe somebody has addictions, maybe sexual addictions, which is Knight of Wands here and the King of Wands uh, energy here. Um some may have, you know, just uh, behavioral uh, addictions, but you're awakening um, to this energy and realizing that it's affecting your romantic life. So keep in mind, these energies could reverse. So this could be you, Scorpio, um, that's doing the situation or your person. But um, I'm going to get another card to see the action you're going to take. Why is codependency here awakening? And we have Page of Swords. Okay, so this is um, an energy of being watched and being investigated. The looking card. Okay, so someone is, um, I'm feeling like somebody is having to watch someone constantly or worried about watching them. Uh, maybe not wanting to be in that energy or knowing that they need to let that energy go. So I do feel like somebody has an issue well, wanting to know everything about what's going on and um, realizing that's a codependent behavior that cannot stay in that energy um, in order for a relationship to be successful. So either have to release this energy or release the person. So there is some kind of an energy I'm, I'm feeling um, of watching, okay, that, um, like a, a stalking kind of energy. So let me see why is codependency awakening and page of swords here. This is also about news. So this is 10 of cups. Okay. So this is about um, happiness, happy family, happy everything. And um, for some of you, I feel like you are. You feel like your happiness is being delayed, maybe because of so, some codependency behaviors um, that you, um, you or your person has, or you having the need to feel um, dependent on someone. But there's definitely some kind of um, codependency behavior that 
is needing a change in order for you to have your happiness. So you're awakening to this energy. So I'm not sure if you're wanting to stay in this situation. Someone is wanting to and the other person is not. Is what I'm kind of picking up for a lot of the energy. Um, but your person is wanting to offer you a new beginning or to change whatever problem happened in between. That's what I'm getting. Okay. So I'm going to just see if anything else on the bottom here. Um, just to get any additional messages. All right. So we have balance. Uh, which is the justice card. So you could be dealing with a Libra. So there is some need for balance as we see um, up there. Someone moving forward, leaving uh, troubled times behind. And then we have here, acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times we must accept, accept things as they are. There's no point trying to change, which is beyond our control. Okay. So this is about balance, uh, acceptance um, for whatever happened or what took place. Um, then we have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So we did have the divine timing here as well. So something is happening um, right now and it's all about timing. Um, I feel like a lot of you are going to be moving forward towards your dreams. Um, like I mentioned before, and then some is... You know, you're moving forward towards um, your options um, to have your your dreams, basically. OK, so then we have metamorphosis, which means there's a major transformation, a major change is happening, which we do have the death card here. OK, so there um, there's a major change in your your love life taking place or uh, um, within you is what I'm getting. And we have the seven of wands and also the five of cups. So this is a defensive energy. This is also overcoming obstacles. Um, so that's several fives here. So it's definitely you're, there's big changes uh, coming towards you or you're going to make big changes happen with this metamorphosis card. But this is, I feel blocking this energy of feeling sad, feeling sorrowful, um, overcoming this energy. Um, again, this could be your person wanting to do this because this could indicate an apology. Um, as well, but um, there's some major changes um, happening in your love life, like very big with the metamorphosis um, here and the death card. Okay, so there could be an ending for some of you when it comes to a relationship because you do have the death card, the hierophant here. So I'm feeling that there is um, two energies here. Some of you are ending relationships. Um, going towards new ones or new options and then others are possibly trying to heal from some back and forth uh, or, or possibly infidelity in a commitment or a marriage um, but someone is definitely wanting to take this relationship to next level is what I'm getting okay so I hope that resonated with you Scorpio um, if it did please like comment or share and if you're new to the channel please subscribe Again, I do offer personal readings. All that information is below and all these uh, cards and things I have displayed um, are below. Mostly everything. OK, so I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you very much. Have a good day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. And until next time, next video, peace, love and light.